guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft episode of Emsley in Minecraft. And today I'll be showing you these three redstone objects I've made, uh, uh, uh for the past week. And, um, they treat, they're really cool because they have, um, kind of like, they actually work like they would in real life. So, um, these are just like, um, just giant versions of everyday objects you would see, um, except for the can. That's not like an everyday object, but, um, it, it's kind of like it really works like you would expect it to work so I want to get to the cannon first since it was the first thing I made same with the sink was second and the TV was third um this one's really cool because it actually works like a cannon and so if I press this button right here it's gonna shoot out that cannonball which comes down and breaks in the TNT when it hits the water and it makes some firework noise as you can see um and then I made some pressure plates over here so you can see what the cannon Looks like over here when it fires. Yeah, so you can see, you can really see how how the animation is from this side. Um, it's not really easily seen from here. I'll try. I'll show you this again from this here. So you can see that it's not really easy to see the animation from here, like uh, how much it moves around, kind of just uh, like in a curve, a straight curve, like no um moving up and down, but, I mean, I guess it really is, but from here, you can really see that more, so, yeah, that, you're probably thinking that some of the redstone is inside the cannon, well, none of it is, it's all underground, if you break through here, you can see there's nothing inside this cannon, no redstone, I'll go in there, even show you, there's nothing in here at all, um, it's just completely dark in here, there's nothing in there but bats, and it's just hollow in there. And, um, yeah, so, um, so the redstone I'm going to get to right now, it's right under here. Um, and it uses all these command blocks to do everything that, um, that comes up when you press the button. So, um, this, this tunnel down here is the redstone tunnel that goes all the way to those pressure plates and comes down here. So the button and the pressure plate do the same thing. Because they, they're both hooked up to the same redstone signal which that goes up there where the where the buttons are, and um, yeah, it has to go in sort of a pattern. Um, first, it will. I'm in the 1.8 snapshot, so um, it was a little bit easier to make this than it would normally be. So right here, I'll have to um, break some of this redstone. You can't really. So it's gonna make a firework launching noise, and it's gonna uh, set a block area. And then once it does that, after a short amount of time, it will get rid of it, and at the same time, it will generate a new one. So it's using the slash fill command to do this. Um, and it does the same thing in the setting that I want it. So it fills up eight blocks every time. You can see it says eight blocks filled. That's how it works, and it just keeps on filling eight blocks. So it will fill the eight blocks, then turn them into air, and fill the next set at the same time and do the same thing over and over again until it's the end. And right here, this is the two last ones here. Actually, I think, yeah, um, it fills these blocks with TNT, those four last ones. And, um, it fills those last ones with air. So, you're probably wondering how the TNT just explodes right away when it hits, even though it's not summoning prime TNT, it's just filling TNT. Well, there's, there's a, um, there's a, something underground I made uh, near that area and it was really a really simple thing I made um, I'll get to that right after this and um, surprisingly this cannon just worked um, first time trying it after I made this um, so yeah once it hits the water it will make a um, firework noise and it plays it to everybody just in case somebody came on here and was um, trying to listen to that yeah so um I'll show you what this looks like. I think it. I'll have to press the button. Yeah. So, um, I'm pretty sure if you just, you just make a little kind of thing to block because uh, it will mess everything up uh, if I, if it just gets down there. So I'll just get rid of all this water here. I'll show you pretty simple stuff. Um, all it is, is just, um, four redstone torches. I actually got that on the perfect spot. But, um, the TNT spawns right on top of those blocks and, uh, 
turned into prime TNT because um, kind of just went through all that uh, because the well the redstone torches are powering up um, are powering up the TNT so that's how simple it is it really I was gonna do the prime TNT summoning but then I have to do four set block or not set block um, I'll have to have it four command blocks for all that put down so that's why I decided to make it easier on myself and just did do slash fill so that way I can fill all four blocks with one command block and they would just all turn into prime TNT when they hit the ground so yeah that's it for this cannon that was a pretty simple one I mean it wasn't really simple to build inside but I mean uh, it has a simple idea it just work keeps on doing the same thing in a pattern over and over again and then the two sounds play as it shoots out so this um, sink right here actually works like a real sink uh, there's a drain here and there's a faucet up there um, if I turn the faucet on water will start coming right out and you can see that this drain is up right now and that water is going right in um, so when I flick this switch it will put the drain down and start filling up the whole sink and you can see that the drain got pushed down and then um, if I drain it by flicking the switch again putting it up um, it will start to drain in and then all this water will start to form back out and you can see this is kind of far out um, it stays pretty far out but um, if you turn if you turn this faucet on without the um, the water have been filled up so if you turn the water off um, before you drain the um, sink and then turn it back on after you'll notice that it doesn't fill up as much it just doesn't even make it past the obsidian um, that's just, I don't really know how it happens, but, um, it kind of doesn't bother me at all because it, it kind of makes sense in a way, kind of, I've seen that kind of happen with these, with sinks, and, uh, there's two holes on the sides to kind of pretend that the water is not filling up anymore because it's just flowing into those holes. Um, the redstone is not that hard, um, it's pretty simple in a way, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure if you can call it that simple. But, um, it, it's pretty simple, actually, because all it is is just, um, wireless redstone that comes down here, powers up with these command blocks, and then, um, if the switch is flicked, um, down, if you, you flick it up, then a wireless redstone signal will be sent here. And basically, when the redstone block gets put down, it actually gets rid of it right away, And but the redstone signal still makes its way down the path. So, um, basically, you don't have to have two command blocks to, to, um, set up the redstone block. And you're probably wondering where this red, wireless redstone setup is. Well, red, wireless redstone is right behind here. Um, so whenever this is put up, uh, this redstone torch is powered, and it powers up that command block. And when I flick this, the redstone will be powered up and fill up this whole thing here. So once I um power this uh once I turn that off, that redstone torch will come back on and um, make the water drain. So yeah, that's it for that. That's that's a pretty simple machine, uh, except for the command blocks. It took me a while to set up. Oh uh, and it but it works like a real sink which is pretty cool. Um and I like how the drain moves up and down. And this drain it actually goes all the way down there to the bottom all the way to the ground um, because I wanted to make it so that you can't see um, so that it actually looks like it goes down into a deep pipe because it really is in a way um, so now I want to move on to the TV over here this one's really cool this is like the most simple one out of all three of them it only uses two command blocks which is really easy when you flip this up TV's on and it displays this um, it, uh, MCN stands for Minecraft News if you're wondering there's two villagers in there um, doing a news report, which they don't really want to look at the camera, really. <laughs> um, and they have their two uh, coffee cups there on the sides. And I guess they're just looking at each other because they're right next to each other, so they just stare at each other that long. And um, if you walk into this, you can't make it through. It's impossible to get through. I use barrier blocks to do this. And um, if you go inside... 
uh, basically there's not really, there's some barrier blocks around these villagers so that they can't walk around. Because I didn't want to make it so that they could just be walking around rooming everywhere. I wanted to make it, um, more realistic. But yeah, I I'm planning on making those buttons do something. Eventually. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but there's going to be a way I guess I can do it. And down here there's just a DV player and there's a DVR right there. Um, yeah, this is really simple. It doesn't have much to it. Um, those other two took me a while to make, but these are really, this is a really easy one. And it's not really displaying a flat, th so it looks too 3D, because if you're over here, it looks different. It really shouldn't be like that, but I mean, I guess, because basically there's just a whole room in there, but, I mean, I guess, um, I guess there's really all, that's all I can really do if I want to get a nice display on the screen. So inside, it's like the same sort of setup as the other, uh, as like the sink. Um, when you flick this on, it powers up this command block. And that when this redstone source is on, this is not on, and that's on. So they just do slash fill. So this one fills the area with barrier blocks, and this one fills the area with stone. So that's not really that um, complicated. That that's really simple. I, I just about anybody can make that. I just decided to make it for fun. Um, the other two were kind of like, you know, a test. I, was, I wanted to see if, um, if they were really going to work, because I never tried anything like that before. But the TV was really simple, all in all. Um, and I also want to show you, for the end of this video, I actually got all these horses in here. And, um, there used to be a, there used to be a zombie horse there, but, you know, I, it's not there anymore. Because it was set to peaceful, so I'll be right back in a second. Okay, now I'm back. Um, sorry for that. I had to do something. Anyway, um, yeah. So I just wanted to show you this for the end. This is a really easy thing. I used the slash summon command to get these, and there was a skeleton on top of here and a zombie there. And it went to peaceful, and I decided to put a villager on top of there because it was the closest thing to a Steve that I could find. I was thinking of putting a head on top of a zombie, but it looked kind of weird, so I did that. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, you can really try experimenting as much as you want with Redstone and do sort of the same thing that I did. I, I just made this video to kind of show you, um, ideas for Redstone creations. They're really easy, um, with the new snapshot, because Slash Fill, it makes it really easy. If I didn't have Slash Fill, I'd have to do block by block with set block, which would not be easy. So, yeah, I made it that simple on myself, and it was pretty easy to make, except these two were a little bit hard, but, um, I have to admit, I think they were pretty easy all in all, just to get the coordinates, but, to get the coordinates for all those blocks, I had to, uh, I did, I used the looking at thing from the new, um, the new coordinates, uh, set up in the debug screen, um, I used the looking at thing at the bottom, because I didn't feel like, um, using the thing where you stand on the block, because it doesn't, it's not as accurate as just the looking at coordinates. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, uh, I guess um, I'll be making uh, more videos for this world. But um, over here, I'm gonna, I have a password locked door. Uh, this is a sneak peek for. It. I'm gonna make a video for this. It was a really easy thing to make, and I'm gonna show you how I did it in the next video. Um, yeah, so that's. Uh, it for this video. See you next time on another episode.